welcome to bsc statistics tool so now i'm discussing problem 1 in cpm critical path method in part 1 i have explained how to construct the network diagram for the given da data that is uh, jobs here it is given which are called activities and duration also uh, diz is given with the help of that how to construct a network diagram and after that how to calculate e's and l's that is earliest times latest times both the times uh, how to calculate by using forward pass calculations backward pass calculations so i have explained forward pass calculations and backward pass calculations with the help of that for uh, which activity which uh, event e is equal to l then uh, we can uh, join those activities and uh, we will get the we can obtain the critical path this is what critical path it is going to be indicated by double line like uh, and uh, this is the critical path the minimum duration is nothing but which is obtained at the end node at the end node it can be obtained it can be seen easily it can be observed now i explain all these uh that is calculations of all these calculations of earliest times latest times with the help of the table now we see in the part 2 in this particular part uh, in this lesson i explain all the uh times uh, earliest and latest times as well as uh, how to obtain critical path in this in this in this table okay i explain this particular uh, uh, session now you see <coughs> i'm sorry so we consider activity and duration which are given and uh, what is uh, activity what is an activity i to j i am representing in this in this fashion i is tail event j is head event so 1 to 2 if you connect two events you will get uh, an activity is going to be formed you will get an activity activity is going to be formed and duration diz what is the uh, time required to finish the this activity 1 to 2 it is 2 days if it is in given given in days yes it is in given days right two days like uh, this is the picture it is given now i have formulated earliest times latest times and total float earliest times ei and ej ei i have taken in third column this is the first column second column this is third column the earliest finish es this is es it is known as es and it is also taken as ei and earliest finish ej is equal to ei plus diz the simple addition of third and second ei is in third one e diz second column so 3 plus 2 if you add third column second column you will get this result ej is equal to in the fourth column ei plus diz and late and then latest latest times latest start li first of all latest finish latest finish is lj which is represented in sixth column and the fifth column latest start ls that is nothing but li is equal to lj minus diz is going to be calculated by it can be obtained by subtracting sixth column and third second column sixth column and second column 6 minus 2 you will get fifth column so this is nothing but latest times these are latest times total float and then tfiz lj minus diz minus ei lj minus diz in the fifth column ei in the third column so therefore if you subtract 5 minus 3 you will get second seventh column right t of total float and what is the total float i'll tell you what is the use of total float so this is what uh, very critical uh, and crucial part uh, if the total float is zero then uh, it it forms a critical path that is very simple so it obtains so total float obtains uh gives critical path now you start the calculations right 
if you start the calculations first of all ei for first event you see always you have to always observe what are the events here one first event ei means i it indicates i this indicates i i these are the values of i first one j these are the values of j that you have to observe clearly with the help of this only we can formulate we can calculate remaining all the values the first one e1 ei i is equal to 1 here e1 here e1 value is going to be considered as zero e1 value is going to be considered as zero next ej is nothing but addition of 2 and 3 0 plus 2 it is nothing but 2 clear and then you see ej is equal to j is equal to 2 here now i is equal to 2 the value of e2 whichever it is e1 e2 e1 is 0 e2 is 2 e2 the value of uh, this is uh, ith event i is equal to 2 that is e2 is equal to 2 it is going to be carried here clear do you understand this it is a very simple logic that uh, j is equal to 2 here that is e2 e2 is this for i is equal to 2 this is all this is the same value is this this is the value for i is equal to 2 e, uh, e2 so it is going to be obtained in this fashion so 7 plus 2 now it is 9 okay and then again this is for the next one it is also 2 e2 e2 value is 2 2 plus 3 it is 5 now okay and uh, what is the value of e3 you observe this one you observe this 2 to 3 j value is 3 the e3 is equal to 9 so it is uh, the e3 value the 9 value 9 it is going to be carried and 9 plus 3 12 okay and then uh, again 3 so the value is 9 again 3 3 to 5 in which i is equal to 3 the this is the value uh, i is equal to 3 j, j is equal to 3 here e3 value is 9 so therefore e3 value is going to be carried here 9 9 plus 5 14 now 4 now it is uh, you have to see observe and uh, observe clearly 4 4 to 6 e, e4 this is e4 e4 is going to be obtained with two values here you see 4 and 4 you have to observe very clearly in the calculation of the calculation in the table 4 that is uh, 4 is connected to with 2 and with 4 with 3 2 4 3 4 so 4 is two values are going to be observed here 5 and 12 you see here 4 e4 is equal to 5 here e4 is equal to 12 here it is obtained in the formula of ej is equal to ei plus dij you have to consider maximum here whenever you consider ei you have to consider the maximum maximum of 5 and 12 it is 12 so now e4 is equal to 12 clear these are the perfect values of ei so therefore you should uh, calculate uh, uh, the values of ei with the with the formula maximum whenever you get uh, more than one so 12 plus 3 15 it is a simple addition remember this is a simple addition but here you should take care and uh, 5 only 1 this is you see e5 it is required so j is equal to 5 3 to 5 the value is 14 so here it is 14 only one value 14 plus 5 19 and uh, 6 only 1 4 to 6 4 to 6 so hence it is 15 the value is 15 15 plus 8 23 and uh, it is also uh, 6 to 7 and 6 to 10 it is also 6 6, six the value is 15 15 plus 4 19 now the value 7 only 1 7 6 to 7 so therefore 7 uh, e7 is equal to 23 23 plus 4 27 and uh, 8 we have only 1 8 5 to 8 19 19 plus 1 20 19 plus 1 20 
and uh, 9. Now you observe here 7 to 9, 8 to 9. There are 27 and 20. Here e, j is equal to 9, j is equal to 9. So 27, 20. Maximum 20. 27, I'm sorry. 27. Maximum 27. And then 27 plus 7, 34. So 34, it is nothing but total, uh, minimum total duration of the project. Okay, 34 days. So now it is time to calculate uh, latest times. How to calculate latest times? So now you have to consider the last uh, EJ must be con should be considered from as uh, LJ. That is uh, for last uh, event uh, E is equal to L. That is what uh, we have considered in that uh, network diagram as well. Now again we are considering same way. Same way. In the same way we are considering the last one is 34 and uh, now, if you represent clearly, remaining all the values are going to be uh, taken as subtraction. Okay, 34 minus uh, 7, that is 6, 5 is equal to 6 minus 2. 6, this is 6, this is 2, the column 2. 34 minus 7, so this is 27. Okay, and then now you see it is 9. You have to come reverse and consider this is uh, the value of i. i is equal to 9. i is equal to 9 is 27. So therefore, j is equal to here 8 to 9. 8 to 9. This is 9. So hence it is 27. 27 minus 1. This is 26. And this is also 9. 7 to 9. 9 uh, L9 L9 is 27 so this is 27 27 minus 4 it is 23 and uh, now coming to the 6 to 10 10 so L10 L10 is 34 so it is 34 34 minus uh, 4 34 minus 4 it is 30 34 minus 4. Okay. And then uh, it is uh, 6 to 7. So 7. Only 1. 7. So this is 23. L is 23. That is uh, 23. 23 minus 8. It is 15. 15. This is uh, L7. And then uh, 5 to 8. 8. 8 is required. Here we have 8. 26. Only 1 8. Therefore, you can consider 26. 26 minus 5. 21. Okay. And then uh, 4 to 6. 6. L6 is required. But we have two 6s. 6 to 7. 6 to uh, 10. 6 to 7. It is uh, 15. And this is 6 to 10, it is, this is 30, 15 and 30, minimum value, it is 15. 15 minus 3, this is 12. And uh, now we have to go for 3 to 5, 5, only 1, you can observe from here, this is 21. 21 uh, minus 5, it is 16. And 3 to 4, 4, 4 is also only 1. It is 12 and uh, 12 minus 3 it is 9 and uh, 3 to 4 and 4 and 2 to 4 here also 4 4 is only 1 that is uh, 4 it is 12 hence uh, we have to write 12 and 12 minus 3 12 minus 3 it is 9 Okay, and then 2 to 3, 3, we have 3, we have 2, here is 3 to 4, 3 to 5, 3, 2 connections, and uh, 16 and 12, minimum, this 16 and 12, 3 to 4, this is one uh, L3, this is another L3, 16 and 12, minimum is uh, not 16, this one, 
yeah 16 and 9 this 3 is 9 this 3 is uh, 16 16 and 9 minimum is 9 not this 3 to 4 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 yeah 9 3 to 4 this 9 3 3 to 5 is 16 that is from this uh, l3 is equal to 9 here l3 is equal to 16 here you have to consider minimum that is 9 9 minus 7 it is 2 and then uh, uh, the 2 2 value again 2 value there are 2 2 nodes 2 events 2 and 2 2 to 3 2 to 4 2 and 9 these two minimum 2 and 2 minus 2 it is 0 right this is what the calculation of uh, in this way you have to calculate uh, the values of l lj first and then later li with the help of li you have to calculate lj by taking minimum right and then total float it is a simple subtraction of 5 and 3 two columns 5 minus 3, 0 minus 0, it is 0, 2 minus 2, it is 0, 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 9, 0, 16 minus 9, 7, 12 minus 12, 0, 21 minus 14, 7, 15 minus 15, it is 0, 30 minus 15, 15, 23 minus 23, 0, 26 minus 19, 7, 27 minus 27, 0. Now you observe uh, the values of 0, the 0 values, the corresponding critical activities. Activities are called critical activities. So 0, corresponding critical activities 1 to 2, 0, 2 to 3, next 0, 3 to 4, 0 it is corresponding to 4 to 6 and 0 it is corresponding to 6 to 7 this 0 is corresponding to 7 to 9 this 0 is corresponding to last activity 9 to 10 therefore if you observe the 0 and the total float and uh, we will have to consider the corresponding activities are critical activities from the critical activities uh, from the observed critical activities above, from this table, we will get critical path. Critical path is 1 to 2, first one, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 9, and 9 to 10. This is what critical path. The duration is 34 days. Either this or this is going to be considered. The total duration the minimum project duration of uh, uh, the total project is 34 days. So, this is the way you have to calculate uh, in the table the activity by considering the activities duration you have to calculate earliest times, latest times and total float. Earliest times start and finish EI and EJ, latest times start and finish LI and LJ. So, these are to be calculated and then total float is going to be observed, is going to be obtained in this way. And finally, from the table also, you can calculate simply the critical path, critical path and the um, calculations, EA and LJ. All the values you can easily calculate from the table also. Hope you understand, you follow it and uh, you make comparison with this, these two particular uh, uh, from the network and as well as from the table. You please compare it and so that you calculate carefully so that you, will, you, can, uh, you can easily uh, uh, calculate. That is do the problem of critical path method. Hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you so much.